Don't be afraid, men, to lose a woman who behaves badly. It will be an enormous favor to you if you lose someone that disrespects you consistently. Don't be afraid of the loss. Hello, welcome to this channel again. Um, today I'm going to be talking about navigating through relationship insecurities and setting boundaries. Before I move over to the technique and the um, advice that I have for you concerning that, I'm going to define what relationship insecurities are. Relationship insecurities are when a person has feelings of self-doubt, anxiety or uncertainty about themselves. Or their spouse. These insecurities can take many different forms, including one, jealousy. This is imagining that your partner has feelings for someone else and feeling threatened by them. Two, low self esteem. Questioning your own value or attractiveness can cause you to constantly seek validation from your partner. Three, trust issues. Having trouble trusting your partner frequently as a result of your personal experiences or past betrayals. 4. Communication difficulties. Difficulty freely communicating your wants or worries to your partner, which might result in misunderstanding or unreserved difficulties. 5. Concern of abandonment. Fearing your lover may leave you while having no proof. Of such a concern. 6. Comparison. Constantly comparing your relationship or yourself to others, which can be detrimental to both the relationship and your self esteem. 7. Over analyzing situations, statements, or behavior, which frequently results in unneeded tension and conflict. This is so important. When you over analyze situations, statements or behaviors which frequently result in unneeded tension and conflict. Setting boundaries is not me rejecting you, it's protecting me. I'll look you square in your face and tell you that I love you with all my heart, but that doesn't mean that you have access to it. I can love you truly, deeply, with the love of God, but because of your behaviors, the way that you think, the inconsistency of your decisions, because I see how you handle your life, I choose not to give you permission to handle my life that way. It's my responsibility to do that for me. Why is it controlling? How about a guy just has some standards for himself and he's saying to himself, if I'm going to date you and we're going to be exclusive and I'm going to prioritize you in multiple ways, I have expectations of you, which means that you're not going to go out, get sloppy drunk with your friends, be around a bunch of guys that are going to be like eh, the whole time and maybe behave badly because people make not so great decisions when they drink and why are you putting yourself in that situation i don't want to give my exclusivity to someone who's going to voluntarily put themselves in those situations and by the way if you have me and you're so happy with me why do you need to do all of that perfectly reasonable for a man to come to the table and say those things guys are afraid to say them oftentimes because they're afraid of losing a woman don't be afraid men to lose a woman who behaves badly it will be an enormous favor to you if you lose someone that disrespects you consistently most relationships die, not because of conversations that we had, but because of conversations that we should have had and never took. For life, the way that you handle a disagreement is you just block them out. That's not a boundary. That's just silent treatment. You're just avoiding the problem. Healthy confrontation brings connection, not division. We give people the silent treatment and we wonder why they're not respecting our boundaries. It's because you never communicated that something hurt your feelings. Just a few things on having a difficult conversation. The minute you start saying you, you, you you, somebody's walls of defense comes up. The best way to have a difficult conversation, always lead with the best. I am sure that you didn't mean it like this. But when I heard you say this, this is the way I heard it. Can you talk to me about what you actually meant? Versus when you said this, you made me feel you did this and it brings walls up and all you're gonna do is fight. I lead with the best. My goal is connection and hearing each other's wants and needs. Okay, so now we're gonna move over to the advice that I have for you. But please, I would love you for you to Drop what you think about the videos that I've played so far on the comments section. Have you ever wondered why even the most seemingly perfect relationships can crumble under the weight of insecurity? Perhaps it boils down to the boundaries we set or fail to set in our relationships. Let's delve into this. 
We often guard what we value and relationships are no different. The tragic truth is that we often don't realize the worth of something until it slips away. So if your partner is striving to protect your bond, it may not be a sign of insecurity. Instead, it could be a testament to their commitment and investment in the relationship. But remember, being in a relationship and being single are two very different states of being. Once you acknowledge this, you will understand that certain actions are not appropriate when you're in a committed relationship. For instance, maintaining a close relationship with an ex may not sit well with your partner. It's not about insecurity, it's about respect and understanding. If your partner expresses discomfort with some of your relationships, don't dismiss it as their insecurity. It's about empathy, understanding, and most importantly, setting boundaries. Now let's talk about the effort required in a relationship. It's a two-way street. Both parties need to be equally invested in the relationship. Even the most incompatible couples can become inseparable if they are both determined to make it work. In some cases, it's not insecurity that prompts a man to check his partner's WhatsApp or question her about certain relationships. It could be a reaction to something that has occurred. So instead of labeling him as insecure, try to address the root cause of the issue. If after addressing the issue, he continues this behavior, then perhaps it's time to consider that the problem lies with him, not you. In a relationship, you owe each other love. It's not about entitlement, but about being responsible for the commitment you've chosen. Every commitment comes with demands and a relationship is no different. To succeed in your relationship, you must set boundaries, whether they are physical, emotional, time, communication, digital, personal, financial, or sexual. Each day, think of ways to show your partner love. Remember, it's not just the man's job to initiate things. Men, like women, appreciate gestures of love and affection. Society may have conditioned men to refrain from expressing their needs openly, but that doesn't mean they don't have them. In summary, setting boundaries and addressing insecurities are key to maintaining a healthy relationship. Dismissing your partner's concerns as insecurities could indicate a lack of empathy and understanding on your part. Both parties must put in equal effort to make the relationship work. And remember, love is about showing daily acts of kindness and affection. In our next episode, we'll delve into each type of boundary in more detail. Until then, keep loving and keep setting those boundaries.